Pulling Together originated in 2001 as a project to enhance and improve the relationship of First Nations people and police. Pulling Together has visited well over a hundred First Nations communities throughout British Columbia and back in Ontario. So much of an analogy in life is the canoe, the canoe family, uh, pulling together, so to say, is we always have to always pull our own weight. The canoe doesn't move, you don't get to camp at night, you don't eat, you don't do anything without everybody pulling together. When we put young people into canoes with RCMP or with VPD or with conservation, we give them opportunities to engage in dialogue and to actually work together, to pull together. This year on the journey we have 23 canoes out there. There's more than 300 and some odd participants. We're up in the shoe shop heading to Kamloops. Awakening the Spirit, this year's theme, talks about the fact that the Shuhwepmek are a canoe nation and they forgot that for a long time. And it's time to wake up and start to realize that and to exercise their right to be on that water. I was like skipping for the first time. Yeah. It's an experience I'll never forget the rest of my life. Why is that? I've never been near water, now I'm starting to love water. I understand water now. We have five communities, five Chiquetman communities that never had a big canoe. Now we have our own. So there's nothing stopping us from going out in this lake anytime we want to or any of the lakes that are close in our area. And now that we've been out there, people will recognize us and know what's going on. Every time we stop and pull in somewhere, we're having more and more people joining us and greeting us on the beach. like to show some of the new ones to have fun out there you know it's not all about putting the head down and just pulling forward but talking to each other as you're going through the waters and getting to know people. I've had enough of this guy man I'm out of here. <laughs> there are so many activities going on I especially enjoyed the karaoke. The storytelling is awesome you get to hear different stories from a different culture other than your own. In the water, there's especially a lot of water fights. You need to be able to like cool yourself down, but have fun at the same time. And I've had people come up to me like, I had no idea that I, uh, I'd be sitting here talking to a cop, and we have so much in common. Very impressed, shock, awe, all that stuff. When you're on a canoe and you work all day, and you come off at the end of the day, and you know that you've worked, you know, and people are telling you you did a good job, you know, you can't help but have a shift in attitude. I try to sit with somebody different at supper time just to, to build those relationships too. I really don't think I'd be sitting here if there wasn't a canoe. I wouldn't be an auxiliary constable with the RCMP if I can't thank the canoe for that. For those that don't know, there's over 200 nations here in BC and this has given us a chance to kind of get out to a lot of the more rural areas and it really opens you up to understand what it, what it really means to be a Canadian citizen. It's a lot more deeply rooted than what we've been told. I want you to use your own imagination and travel to the land of the native. This is the culture that our ancestors tried to suppress. And yet all these years later, this is the culture that is magically bringing us back together. Sing it in your heart! They kept the embers alive, and now it's coming back. These people are trusting us one more time. You people are my new relatives. I'll take you like my relatives. We're not in the past anymore. It still hurts, yes, but we're here. 
still so many years later and we're not going to give up. We're going to not only teach our young ones, but other cultures as well, what goes on in our culture. I can think back to when my canoe was first formed and that's when I really got back into my culture. Starting to learn the language, learning to sing and drum and, and dance, being part of a dance group up north. Who knows where this canoe will take people. And by the time we leave a few days from now, we feel like we're leaving home. Now that I'm out here, I just feel like I'm at home. It's a journey. Journey to find out that you're a human. That we're all pretty much the same. Every time I drive by this area, I know that I'm welcome here. My hands will go up to them. I will can tell my kids later on or my grandkids later on is we paddled a journey here before. Cooperation. Cooperation. <laughs> Chast. Chast means good. Powerful. Humanizing. Togetherness. Woo!